Good morning. Let's introduce myself to you. I'm Ramna. You're watching Diksha Medical Channel. Today we are going to talk about the types of stratified squamous epithelium. Generally, stratified squamous epithelium is mostly present on the uh, surface of the body. Epithelium is nothing but uh, it is present in the outermost uh, covering of the body, right? Here also there are maximum parts are covered by the stratified epithelium. Main role of stratified epithelium is it to protect the a particular tissue from the physical, chemical, mechanical or osmotic stresses. In this we are talking about types of stratified squamous epithelium on the basis of presence or absence of keratin. What is meant by keratin? Keratin generally it is a protein which is secreted or synthesized by a specialized cells in the epidermal cells or epidermis of skin is called keratinocytes. These keratinocytes when it reaches to the topmost layer of the body it is deposited by the keratin based on presence or absence of keratin the outermost layer of the epithelium is divided into two types one is keratinized stratified squamous epithelium second one is non-keratinized stratified squamous epithelium keratinized stratified squamous epithelium is nothing but Presence of keratin, there are many layers are present and the squamous that is nothing but these cells are the topmost cells of this tissue have tile like or scaly like epithelium. So keratinized is nothing but the keratin protein is present in scaly cells and cells become non-nucleated dead cells. That means when these cells are reaches to we know germinative cells. These germinative worm cells different the or separate the uh, living cells and non-living cells. What are the non-living cells are there? These are reaches to the epical surface and deposited by the keratin, right? So, during deposition what happens? Cytoplasm, nucleus and cell organelles, everything will be dries off and is filled with the uh, keratin. The way these keratinized stratified squamous epithelium tissue is present, it is present in mostly epidermis of skin or dry surface of skin. So, if you see our skin, our skin is completely dry and uh, due to presence of what we can say keratinized stratified epithelium because due to depletion of the keratin, right, and scales in fishes and horns in other animals and nails in our body and other animals and feathers. These all parts are made up of keratinized stratified squamous epithelium. Keratinized sometimes they are used as a hornified. Hornified are, hornified is nothing but it's a deposition of keratin indicates the hornified uh, tissue. And we know epidermis of skin or eye uh, surface of skin also we can take it right. Next the second type of uh, stratified squamous epithelial tissue is the non-keratinized stratified squamous epithelium. The non-keratinized the name represents non means absence. Keratin is absent in the stratified squamous epithelium. Along with that cells contain the nucleus and it is a living that means nucleus is present. At the same time, they have a cytoplasm, cell organelles, everything will be there because these are highly dividing cells. Maybe it form the, it has some, uh, it is also present the outermost layer, right? It's a covering, mostly present the buccal cavity and oral cavity of the mouth cavity of mammals are made up of non-keratinized. And inner lining of cheeks, what we have seen inside that lining of cheeks and inner lining of lips and lining of hard palate we have two palates are there one is a palate is nothing but a separation between the nasal cavity and mouth cavity there is a soft palate and hard palate soft palate is made up of cartilage hard palate is made up of bone but it is lining the lining made by the non-keratinized stratified epithelium then lining of tonsils we have a lymphoid organ surface in the oral cavity in the form of a old area ring that old area ring is from the a group of multiple tonsils these tonsils are also lined by the non-keratinized stratified epithelium then you know pharynx pharynx is a common passage for food pipe and windpipe or food and wind 
and esophagus esophagus that's a continuation part of the digestive system pharynx esophagus and go for the anal canal the last part of the digestive system they have a canal will be there that canal is lined by the non keratinized stratified epithelium next lining of vagina and cornea of eye vagina is a opening part of the female reproductive system and cornea of eye that is the outermost layer of the choroid layer that is a cornea it is also made up of non keratinized stratified squamous epithelium some more other places we can see lower part of urethra urethra you know that is the urinary bladder opens into the urethra urethra upper part and lower part will be there the lower part of urethra opens out through the external exterior opening and vocal cords vocal cords are nothing but voice producing organs which are present the larynx region so these vocal cords also lined by not made it is lined by the non keratinized stratified squamous epithelium and cervix cervix is a lower part of the uterus it's also part of female reproductive system these all parts are made by the non keratinized stratified squamous epithelium the major difference between keratinized and non keratinized stratified epithelium tissue is keratinized of the keratin and cells are dead non keratinized there is no keratin but cells are living that is a major difference thank you